Who is the fastest WordPress host? How many times have you heard that, and how many videos have you seen of people trying to get you to buy through their affiliate link just so they can earn a commission without testing the actual host and, and their server response times or time to first byte? Well, I signed up for 15 different hosting plans and measured the results in Pingdom. And basically, I'm going to also show you five of the more popular and fastest hosts and do some more testing on them in this video. So basically what I did is set up the same exact website only using Cloudways Digital Ocean, SiteGrounds for Big Plan, Kingsta, WP Engine, a bunch of the other faster hosting companies and perform these tests. So let's take a look at Pingdom first. In this particular test, the thing you have to keep in mind is that even though every website is set up with the same theme, the same plugins, they all use SSL, no CDN, and no caching, but the server locations are always different. So I tried to pick the closest one to the western part of the United States, and then tested the results on the western parts of Pingdom. So in this particular test, Cloudways DigitalOcean came in first at 338 milliseconds. This was followed by companies like A2 Hosting was pretty fast, Flywheel, WPX, SiteGround performed very bad on this test, actually. Uh, WP Engine is supposed to be fast, but they're really not. And then Namecheap and A2 are both shared hosting, and if you're going to go fast, you really want cloud hosting anyway which is why I'm not including them in this particular test because cloud hosting is pretty much always faster. But let's take a look at some of these websites. So Cloudways Digital Ocean. This website is on their $10 a month Digital Ocean plan and it loads extremely quickly. This is SiteGround's website using the Grow Big plan, which starts at $10 a month but jumps up to $25 a month once you renew. And it's really not that fast, even just by clicking through the pages. And granted, you know, these websites don't have cash on them, but still, that's pretty slow. Let's check out Kingsta's. Kingsta also loaded very fast and also performed very well in the test. Here's WP Engines, who just bought Studio Press and Flywheel, so. They start at, I think, $29 a month for their startup plan. Not, not as fast as the other ones, like Kingsta and Cloudways. WPX was recommended by Matthew Woodward as the fastest host. Well, that, it seems to be pretty fast. It looks good. Bluehost. I, I only included them because I know a lot of people are using them and they're popular, but they're obviously just not the fastest host. I mean, just by clicking through the pages. This is pretty comparable to SiteGround, but I would say it's even slower. So now let's get to the numbers. Well, I installed the WP Hosting Performance Check plugin on every website and measured their server response time. So Cloudways DigitalOcean had 0.125 seconds. SiteGrounds was one full second. Kingsta was 0.70 seconds. So very similar to Cloudways, but Cloudways did outperform them by a very, very small amount. WPX had 0.24 seconds, which is still very fast. And I think their plans start at $20 a month. So, you know, it's still a good option. WP Engine, very popular, but did not perform well in the server response time test. Bluehost, outperformed WP Engine. Maybe something's wrong there, but in this, in this particular test, uh, Bluehost, it's still loaded slow. So I also tested Cloudways Linode and Vulture, because Cloudways basically is just a middleman between five cloud hosting providers. And these three are probably the most popular. So Cloudways Linode performed well, but DigitalOcean still performed better. Cloudways Vulture performed still about the same. In 
GT metrics, this particular Cloudways website, and keep in mind, this is the $10 a month, one CPU digital ocean plan based out of San Francisco. So even not paying a whole lot for hosting, and I didn't do any optimizations to this website, it still loads in 1.4 seconds. And even the errors you get are usually just related to the images not being optimized. Um, so they're not really related to hosting, but for a 1.94 megabyte page size and 43 requests, 1.4 seconds is very fast, especially with no caching and no other optimizations made on the site. Key CDN's performance test. So this is DigitalOcean on Cloudways. Average time to first byte, which is what we're basically looking at, is around 400 milliseconds, maybe yeah, around 400 milliseconds. For the Kingsta test, I tested the Kingsta website, which starts at $30 a month, and it still performed pretty well, but it looks like it's definitely higher than Cloudways, maybe around four or 500 milliseconds for average time to first byte. For SiteGround, not looking good, maybe around averaging 1.2 seconds. WPX. Time to first byte looked pretty good, especially in the top uh, locations here. So, uh, you know, I don't know the average here, but it looks maybe 600, something like that. I didn't, I didn't do the, all the numbers, but you can look for yourself. For WP Engine, time to first byte was pretty quick, um, similar to some of the others, but not as fast as Kingsta or Cloudways. Bluehost, what do you expect? It's probably around one, little higher than one second. Not fast. So the time to first byte and web page test for the Cloudways Digital Ocean was 0.388 seconds, seconds, which aligns kind of with what the other tests are saying. In Google PageSpeed Insights, the main thing you want to look at, and keep in mind there's no optimizations made on the site, but you really just want to look at the server response time. So uh, this particular test showed a server response time of 320 milliseconds, which is pretty much the same as what we saw in web page test. Now I want to talk about my website and my, my background because I blog about website speed for a living and uh, I migrated my site from SiteGround's upgraded version of their cloud hosting. I was paying $180 a month because I was getting CPU limits. I just kept, kept having to upgrade and migrated to Cloudways Digital Ocean. And you can see the results here. I mean, I'm paying less and getting faster load time. So I'm personally very happy. So granted, I do have an upgraded version of Cloudways Digital Ocean, and I'm paying a lot, but this is ridiculous. Like this post has so many images and comments, 480 comments with tons of images and embedded video, Google Analytics, Gravatars are showing, and it still can load in like 1.1 seconds. And this is just one test, but still, even if it loads in under two seconds, that is very fast for that page size and number of requests. Cloudways Digital Ocean is actually the only host recommended in the WordPress optimization guide. Or not Cloudways, but Digital Ocean, <laughs> which you can get through Cloudways. And by the way, yes, Cloudways is a middleman between Digital Ocean and all the, their cloud hosting providers, but they basically provide the, the server management and things that you probably don't want to do. That's why it costs a little more. So. Here's a few other people who migrated to Cloudways and posted their results on Twitter. You can see the results are good. And the next thing I wanted to do is, uh, yes, my conclusion is that Cloudways and Kingsta are probably my top two recommended hosts. Um, both of them are extremely good. Kingsta doesn't have phone support. Cloudways is a little more technical to set up and don't directly support email hosting. So they both have their own little kinks, but generally I would just recommend Cloudways, especially because you can start with a $10 a month plan, whereas Kingsta, you have to, the first starting plan is $30 a month. But they're both very good in their own ways. 
You can get 25% off with this promo code OMM25. It's 25% off your first two months. But keep in mind, Cloudways does free migrations and they have a free trial as well. So the next part of this video, I just wanted to walk you through a couple things in their dashboard to, to make sure you get the most out of their hosting. So basically when you sign up, you're gonna set up a server and just name it whatever you want. Choose your plan. DigitalOcean is usually the cheapest and one of the fastest in, in the tests I've run. And they all have different data centers. So if you're really stuck on getting a data center somewhere, you can look through the different options. But generally, you know, just pick one and use a CDN and that'll fix it. So once you do that, then Cloudways is going to set up a server and you can, you want to go to the settings and packages right here. So this is where you're going to update your PHP version, your MySQL to make it PHP 7.3 or 7.4, <clears throat> MariaDB 10.3, increase your memory limit to 256 megabytes, and these little tweaks will make your website load even faster on Cloudways. You shouldn't use the Breeze plugin. WP Rocket has a lot more features, so just use WP Rocket. If you're going to use a CDN, either use Cloudflare or WP Rockets, the Rocket CDN. But I would not sign up. I would not use Breeze, and I would not sign up with a CDN through Cloudways or Stackpatch. Just do it through WP Rocket because it's much easier. The Breeze options, there's just not as many as WP Rocket, so you don't really <laughs> want to do that. So I want to end this video with a couple Facebook polls on, you know, the best hosting. Just just a few polls that I'm part of these Facebook groups and want to show them. So there's Cloudways and Cloudways and Cloudways. So they are rated highly. And you're seeing a big shift of people, especially migrating from SiteGround to Cloudways because SiteGround has gone downhill, in my opinion. They jacked up their prices. Their renewal prices are ridiculous. They have CPU limits, which you won't get on Cloudways. And they have yearly pricing where Cloudways is monthly. Their support has gone downhill. And there's just a lot of things that I used to be, I don't like them anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, SiteGround. We've made a lot of money together with me referring you affiliates, but uh, there's better options now. And you're seeing a huge shift of people migrating from SiteGround to Cloudways if you look at these Facebook groups. So uh, when I migrated my website, I actually wrote them a really good review, including my GT Metrics report. This is the Cloudways Community Manager, Mustasam, who can help you answer questions or get set up. He was very helpful when I migrated, but that is his profile. I can leave it in the video description. Uh, but that's, that's really about it. I mean, you know, I know this isn't a full extensive test, but these are definitely indicators on who is the fastest hosting. And I, I think it goes to show the tests that I've showed you and my migration results is Cloudways is definitely a good bet. Um, Kingsta is very comparable. They're just a little more expensive at the starting price. Uh, it just really depends on what you want. Um, they, they each have their own little kinks, but they're both great. So I hope this video was helpful and peace out.